So I've got an integral here, 1 over x squared plus 25 with respect to x. Now it looks very tempting to do partial fraction decomposition, but I can see we've got an x squared here, and this 25 I know is 5 squared. So let's write that up on the board. So let's just change what we've got. So x squared plus 5 squared dx. So now we're looking promising. This is looking like something that we can do. So what I do know is that one integral I know of is 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. This gives us inverse tangent of x and then obviously the plus c. So we've got something similar here, but instead of the 1, we've got a 5. So we need to plug in something for this x to work with this 25. So we can cancel this 25 out to get the 1. So if we plug in this something here over 5 with this 5 squared, the 5 in the denominator and the 5 in the numerator here, so I could put these as x squared over 1, 5 squared over 1. If we had a 5 in the denominator here, it will work something out with this 5 squared. So let's go for a u substitution and work on that fact. So let u equal x over 5. Now with all u substitution, we need to find the derivative. So that's pretty uh, straightforward on this one. So it's 1 over 5 dx. And as always, get your dx ready. So dx equals, multiply both sides by 5, 5 du. Okay. Now, I've got x squared here, and I've got u equals x over 5. So what I want to do is, is get that x on its own here, just to make this substitution a little bit more straightforward. So with that in mind, my x equals 5u. So just multiply again both sides by 5. Okay, let's switch it over into the u world now. So now I've got 1 over, so x squared, so x squared equals 25u squared. So now we just put that in, 25u squared plus, now 5 squared, I'll just plug in 25 that works well with this 25, it's looking like something else we can do there. And my dx is 5 times du. So I'm just going to put that in my numerator. 5 du. Okay, so that's my integral there, all converted into the u. Right, let's factor out 25 in this denominator. So 5 over... 25 times u squared plus 1 and then my du now I can put out here so you can see what's going to happen here now 5 over 25 that's just 1 fifth so that becomes 1 fifth so let's rewrite this up here now let's get this integral ready to integrate 1 fifth we can bring out front that's just a constant multiple and then we've got 1 over u squared plus 1 du now using this uh, integral here, we're now ready to integrate this with one fifth in front of it. So that equals one fifth inverse tangent of u. But we're still not finished yet. We need to plug in our u in here and then let's not forget our plus c. So now we've got inverse tangent x over five and now the fifth, I'll just stick in my denominator. And then the all-important plus C. And that takes care of that integral.